Hello, good morning. Good morning, Georgiana. So good, good to morning. see you. Good to see you too. Excited for another Thursday. <laughs> That's amazing. How was your week? Hectic. How about yes. yours? <laughs> yes, this is crunch time for everyone. So yes. we have a great topic today. Um, yes. Today we're talking about how to uh, get rid of the inventory that you have um, still left over and how to take advantage of just getting rid of that and starting fresh for the new year. We have many, many ideas for you. And for those of you who are digital, we are also going to talk about how you can help bundle, help your customers bundle so that you can continue to move product throughout the end of the year and whether you're online or face to face. So we're going to give you two options as usual. <laughs> yes. I'll do it face to face, <laughs> even though it's kind of not really face to face. It's kind of, um, you know, come pick up, leave the money and, you know, just Hi from far away. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have tips for how to do a little bit of both because yes. uh, you know those are the times and it's always great. We've actually been having this discussion. I know I've been having it with members of my team um, that the stuff that we're learning now is stuff that is going to, that you're gonna bring with you when we get out of this because this is not gonna last forever, this is a season. So when the season is over, the things that we learn, the and experiences we're going through, the inspiration that we're getting now during this season is going to be stuff that we can roll over when we're out of this season to help our businesses work even more efficiently. Um, and I know there are a lot of other businesses. I've been also talking to other, I've been also, I've also been talking to other <laughs> entrepreneurs and they're saying the same thing in their business. You know, there were a couple of businesses who started to make transitions into helping their their teams work remotely and use more automated systems. And those were the ones who were able to roll into this season more smoothly. So now they're planning for, okay, you know, what's the next milestone? What is the next thing? And I think that's the key to working the business, kind of keeping your eyes looking forward to plan ahead so that when the changes do come, you can just roll with the tide. Yes, I agree. You couldn't have put it in any other better way. <laughs> Yeah, so we have transition, at least I have, from face-to-face, uh, -face, traditional, to um, online and um, very little contact. So, you know, we, we have shared a lot of ideas throughout the whole year. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's been like a year. We started this in, what, April or March? <laughs> and we haven't missed one Thursday. <laughs> Consistency. <laughs> I am so proud that we have not, you know, we have just stuck to every Thursday at 11.15. So I hope that you're able to follow our, all our videos here at um, Avon by Georgiana fan, fan Facebook fan Facebook page <laughs> and our YouTube channels. We also... I've uh, been posting the videos on our YouTube channel. So make sure you go back and, you know, apply everything that we have shared with you throughout the year. It's like, you know, we're coming to an end of 2020 and uh, we're starting 2021 fresh. So um, with the inventory that you have at home and we all have inventory at home. Um, some of the inventory that goes bad uh, is um, skincare, um, you know, the bug guard, all and of the SPF, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Um, not so much of fragrances. Yeah, the fragrances last um, quite a while, you know, uh, a lot because they don't they don't um, they don't go bad uh, as fast as the skincare. So look at your. Um, you know, your dates when your products are going to expire, make sure that you have plenty of time to move them because um, after that date expire, then you cannot move the products and it's basically um, a loss. So let's... Um, that product moving. Yes. So let me share what I've been doing. 
Go ahead. Well, no, I was going to say, you know, it's also better to keep it moving because you're getting money in your pocket. You don't get paid for keeping product in your house. So that's another reason to keep it moving. Yes. Um, for me, like when I see a product at a great deal, I grab a whole bunch of it. And sometimes I have leftovers. Like some of my skincare is still sitting on my <laughs> on my display. But you know how difficult it was to do events um, this year. Not difficult. We just couldn't do events this year. So I couldn't move as much product as I used to move. And um, what I'm doing is I'm doing a uh, sale, uh, end of the year sale for my customers. I'm bundling up uh, the products, putting them in a nice package and just um, setting a whole price. Uh, with the bundles, you can make sure that everything that you put together makes sense. For example, don't do um, skincare with footworks. Um, you know, you want to keep all your skincare uh, bundles. Unless, unless it's a theme. For <laughs> I do like to, I honestly, I do mix different products if it's like a theme whether it's color or like a spa day, because if it's a spa, then you can put the footworks with the skincare and some facial and maybe a candle, a little fragrance. It, that's true, yeah. That. No, no, that's good. That is, yeah, I'm, what I meant is, um, you know, don't do uh, face cream with one footwork. If you're gonna do, like you say, a spa day, <laughs> I like the spa day, you know, mix it up with a candle. The candles do last more. So don't get rid of your candles <laughs> if you have them on your inventory. Um, but you can, like what Georgiana said, if you want to mix it for a spa day, maybe a bubble bath with a skincare and um, I don't know. If, I still want to do footwork. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to have one that I love, a foot scrub. I yeah. love the scrub, and we used to have a watermelon one that was my favorite. But I always put that in like my summer pampering baskets. Everybody always loves it. Oh, I love that pampering basket. So yes, have a theme. You know, just um, you know, mix up your products. It doesn't have to be um, you know something that that um, you know you can put like makeup with uh, skincare. Um, you know, and then just look at a, at a at a price that you want to set for your bundle. Just remove it, but make it make it um, like you are giving that customer customer a good deal because like baskets, um, if you don't have a good price on a basket, you just won't sell it because remember these are products that they are not ordering. These are products that you're putting together and you're giving them a great deal so that they can order. Same thing for baskets. If you're doing a basket, do not overprice that basket. Make sure that you get the products at a great, great deal. And then you um, pass on those savings to the basket so that you can continue to move products. It increases sales. You get to President's Club. That's our goal to get to President's Club for that 40%. And um, you can do it that way. You can do it, as a matter of fact, you can do it all year round. Use yeah. this idea, right? Definitely. <laughs> for every holiday, this it's an opportunity for you to leverage that people are looking for gifts, you know? And I always say shop for your, well, my personal motto is to shop for my customers. Like I shop for myself. So when I'm shopping for myself, I know I'm looking for deals. I'm looking for, um, you know, value, um, more bang for my buck. I, but I'm also looking for things where, you know, if it's set and I know it's a product that, that I love that's in there, then I'll be willing to try the other products if I know that I'll use at least one of the products in there. So that's another great way to introduce your customers to product that they probably wouldn't use otherwise or try. And you can even look at the baskets and the bundles that Avon puts together for us. When Avon curates a bundle, usually it's um, it's either again, theme-based or it's a really great value. And why do we feel so enticed to purchase it? Because of those things, because of the value, because it's products that we love. And think of how many times you've purchased a bundle because it had a feature. I know I, I, earlier this year, I purchased the Propolifera bundle, the Sika bundle, because I, I looked at the bundle and I said, oh, okay, there's one product in there that I use. Mm -hmm. All of these other free products. So I'm getting the product I'm already gonna use and pay for, a whole bunch of freebies. So the value is so much more. 
I'll try it. And it's gotten me a lot of times to try products that I never would have otherwise. You have a great point. It's true. The same thing happened to me with the In Focus bundle. Yes. <laughs> Those are great examples of bundling. Yes. And you can do the same with your inventory. The idea is not to just let those products sit there that you're moving the product so you can start fresh um you know purchase your uh products for the new year so you can continue to move i love to keep a small inventory because when i um uh, delivering an order when a customer comes to pick up an order i can suggest um another buy so that i can up my order size so you know one of the things that I like to do is that I like to feature a uh, product every campaign. So I will show that product and I will suggest that product to the customers that have an order from the brochure on that campaign. And you can do the same with online customers. Um, your Jan is going to talk a little bit about that and, um, you know, on how to do it virtually. <laughs> <laughs> so again, same rules apply for face to faces virtually um, with my Facebook group. Um, it's a private group that I have for my specifically for my customers. Sometimes I'll feature special offers and bundles in there, um, but I also use bundles for giveaways for my team or as rewards and prizes for my customers. So um, sometimes I'll have um, right now this week, I believe we're starting to do another offer in my personal Facebook group, um, my customer. Facebook group where um, for referring a friend, they're gonna get a little bundle of products. So I, I use bundles like that as well. Um, and then I mail it out to them. So if you're working virtually and you're not um, face to face with your customers, you can also mail product, um, but you can also mail bundles. I always just mail free bundles. I don't sell products through the mail. If a per customer wants to buy, then I just direct them to my website. But um, so that's another option that you can have if you're looking to clear out your inventory for the new year and you're working virtual. Um, but I also like to, again, look at the bundles and the offers that Avon already has online. Because when my customers shop, like right now, Cyber Monday deals are still going, guys. We are, what, Thursday now? And the Cyber Monday offers are still there. So still continuing to promote those bundles. Those are great offers. They're beautiful bundles that Avon has put together for us already. Again, carefully curated product favorites. And they're products that you your customers will try and love. Um, so I'd love to share the bundles that Avon has already put together, the A boxes. Those are another great example of bundles that Avon has put together. Every campaign, there's always a full-size product, maybe skincare, um, fragrance, perfume, and it's uh, always valued again at more, sometimes $30, $40, and it's on sale for $10 for the customer. So leveraging your A boxes when you're sharing with your customers, those are bundles that are already built for you. And another reason that I love to, I'm gonna share our Cyber Monday offers with you, so that you can see it while I talk. But another reason that I love to share the A boxes is because, ooh, yeah, is because the customers who are ordering your A box, they're getting it straight from your website. So again, if you're trying to minimize inventory, that's inventory you don't have to purchase because it's coming straight from the the um, the warehouse and it's going straight to your customers. So you don't have to worry about your product being in your house, it goes, they can order that bundle and go straight to them. Another thing that I'd like to use, oh, did we lose Milagros? Millie, refresh. <laughs> or maybe I'm frozen. Can you guys see me? Let me see. If you can see me, let me hear, hear you in the comments box. And if you can hear me, let me know if you can still hear me. Because on my end, it looks like it's still going. But um, I'm going to close some of these other windows just to be sure. But um, another thing that you can do, another thing that I love to do, especially for the holidays, is to help my customers shop with bundles. Oh, yeah, I think we lost Millie. OK, she'll come back in. Um, she's coming back in now. She's here. Sorry. Okay. Millie's not moving. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is there I'm glad you're back. <laughs> My internet keeps skipping. I don't know what's happening. It's too excited. It's like, <laughs> <let's go shop. laughs> so, um, so like, again, the mindset of helping your customers shop, you know, help your customers create a, a list of who they're shopping for, for the holidays. I always find for myself making that list beforehand makes, helps me make sure that I don't forget anybody at the end. So just kind of preparing ahead of time, help your customers to, to do that. When you talk to them, 
ask them who they're shopping for this year. Ask them if they've made a holiday shopping list. A lot of times people are like, no, I'm, I'm just buying randomly. Let them know to be careful with that because if they prepare a list, they can just check off the list and it brings the stress level down so much. So share that tip with them. And then as they're going through their list, recommend products for them. So, you know, help them shop because, you know, we're representatives. It's our job to know the product catalog, but it's not your customer's job. They don't know all the products that we have. They don't know that we just came out with an amazing new men's line that's already put together as a bundle. They don't know that we have a boxes that they can gift wrap and give for stocking stuffers or for last minute gifts. They may not know all of that. So as they're going through their shop, their holiday shopping list, going through the parents and the uncles and the aunts, you can recommend products to help them out. And then even if you're not talking to them face to face, show those products on your, your social media and say, oh, you know, this is a great jewelry set. Um, this is a great gift for the holidays, for your loved ones, for the women in your life. Or look at these brand new um, genderless fragrance sets that we came up. These are great gifts for anybody on your list, male, female, whatever. So, you know, when you share your post, don't just post a product like perfume, boom. Show it and then talk about it a little bit. What do you like about it? Who is this gonna be a good gift for? What are the benefits or the features or um, the, the feedback that you're getting from your customers? What do people like about it? What do you like about it? That's We always talk about using the products yourself and loving it because then you could then share your feedback most of like 98 percent of what i share on my social media is stuff that i'm using for myself and it makes it easier for me to share my love for it because i'm using it so you, when you're talking to your customers help them find the products that match and you can also share on your social media um, a, a question that i get a lot lately is well what do i post on my blog share the stuff that you're using share tips that will help people find solutions and answers to the stuff that they're looking for, the questions that they might have. And right now for the holidays, the big question is, who do I buy for the women on my list, the men on my list, the guys are hard to shop for. So you could put together like a, um, a holiday gift guide. I just did a video um, this past Tuesday. My video was um, holiday gifts from Avon for under $50. And I just went through some really quick products that people can um, use and gift for People with children, you know, little babies or with animals that are knocking over the tree. Our stuffed animal, our, our little plushy mouse who is currently. Yeah, I have mine right there. Yeah, I hung her up right after the video and I said, I'm going to keep her here to keep me company. We're not putting up a tree this year, but it just to kind of put me in the mood. I hung her on my light. So when I'm doing my videos, I watch her. <laughs> but, you know, great item for showing your customers for your customers who you know don't want to have breakable ornaments and I, a lot of people yay look twinning ah. <laughs> so it's a great gift but people may not think oh yes what about the people who have little children or pets who knock down the christmas tree i don't want to get a a beautiful gorgeous glass um ornament because they're not going to be able to put it up until the the babies are older but with a little plush soft squishy ornament you know you drop this you break it no big deal it's whatever <laughs> <laughs> should i throw on <laughs> 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 I so, love that. I love, love ideas. That, that idea. And um, uh, what you also mentioned to do your own giveaways for your customers, um, especially the ones who are ordering um, online. Yes. That's a great idea also to get rid of the inventory. Um, I love that. So, you know, make sure that you have a plan, whether it is virtually, whether it is uh, face to face or combination of both combination of both so we're giving you both options and i love love everything you share um let's get creative and share in the comments what it is that you're going to be doing um what ideas are you generating from what we're sharing everyone's business is totally different and um i know that there's a lot of you out there who are actively working and you um you have uh, your own idea. So we are here to encourage each other, to help each other. Um, each make, other. Yes, make it to the end with a boom. Yes, and we're in that final push. A lot of us are pushing to get to President's Club. We have until campaign two, but you don't want to wait until campaign two to say, oh crap, you know, how am I going to make it? And you definitely do not under any circumstances want to miss making President's Club this year because it's going to ride with you 
for the not just the next season cycle but the following cycle so this is like a free gift to you so that you can relax you know instead of having to worry every single year you get like a, a year off <laughs> to not have to worry about making precedence club so you want to make sure that you get there and you know you don't oh, I always congratulations say, to you for getting to row circle well, thank you by the grace of god <laughs> I was so excited because it. I made it early. I mean, I've been there when I first made President's Club. I know what it's like in campaign 26 mm -hmm. to be shredding and trying to figure out how you can move product, what you can do last minute, you know, packing your schedule with events so that you can get those last minute gifts. And let me tell you, I would never, ever want to go back to that. It feels so much better to um, get there earlier in the year. So I'm so thankful. Shout out to all of my amazing customers. Amazing ordering. sales, amazing sales, especially yeah. during these times. So yeah. Who would have thought that you know you still made it work and got to your level and to your goal? So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I just had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Amazing, amazing customers. But um, yeah, you guys. Everybody can make it. I know when I first started, I never thought I could make President's Club either. Um, and now, like Malagra said, real circle. Ah, you know, how did that happen? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you guys can make it, but you do have to, like Malagra said, make a plan. It's not just going to happen overnight. You have to mm -hmm. plant the seeds. And even if you don't make it this year, let's say you still go out and you find 10, 15, 20 new customers. That's 10, 15, or 20 new customers that are going to be with you in the next year. Next year, you go out and you find another 10, 15, 20 customers. That is how you grow your customer base. It's the consistent actions over time. So the stuff that we're telling you now, it's not just, just for the holidays. Yeah, we're specifically speaking about the holidays, but it's tips that's going to help you grow your business in the long run so that you know a year, two, five years from now, you can reap the rewards. A lot of my customers that I have are customers that I've had for 10 or 15 years. Um, and you know, now I'm getting new online customers as well, but you know, still keeping up with those customers who have been loyal with me for 15 and 20 years. Very nice. I love that. And you know, once you get to President's Club, you will not go back. Uh why would I want to give a 40%? <laughs> Yeah, yes, but um, you know, I, I, like right. I made it this year, but I don't know if I'm gonna. You're gonna do it every year after it. I mean, it it doesn't. I mean, it all falls into place because yeah. once you have your customer base and once you continue to work your business consistently, um, you know, everything starts increasing, and you already know how to do your sales, what to do, and believe me, the business just comes together. So, you know, I have to give architectural references, but it's like building a house brick by brick. You have to lay that foundation first and then you put another brick, which is another group of customers. And then you put another brick. So you're constantly building. And as long as you continue to build, you'll continue to move forward. You don't want to tear any of those bricks down. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. So plan, plan for the end of the year. Um, you know, make sure that if you just have just a little bit to go for to make President's Club, that you set your goal. Um, I have, I still have um, three hundred dollars left before I get to President's Club. You're gonna do it. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but. but that's good to know your numbers because if you don't know how far you are, how can you plan? Yes. So make sure you know what it is that you need to get for those $10,000. And then, you know, you start asking around, um, you know, your customers, your family to, to start shopping with you. And above all, get rid of that inventory. Yeah. And you can even use that inventory to just up your sales. For example, um, you know, when you, when you purchase a hundred dollars, You'll get this from me. People, yeah. like, people. I don't know what it is, Georgiana, but people love when you give them a gift instead of the website or Avon. Because it feels like, oh, my Avon lady or my Avon representative did this for me. They gave me this. Yeah. And I have customers, like even with the Avon gifts, they, they reach out like, oh, thank you for the gift. You know, when we do the promo codes, it's like my Avon rep gave me this as a free gift. And even the emails, I love that Avon phrase it that way, but the emails, they say this is a free gift from your representative. So I love that. Nice. Yeah. So it, it does make a difference. So look at all these ideas, plan the end of the year. 
If you haven't um, gotten to President's Club yet, it's so worth it. It's going to carry you out. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> It's going to carry you out for the next the, the next cycle. So make sure that you plan, 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 so you can maximize your earnings of 40% or higher. Um, and if you already got to President's Club or higher levels, congratulations, because this was a tough, tough year. <laughs> How good does it make you to feel? Like, I know for myself, stuff was hard this year was especially this last year and this year were really hard for me with stuff going on with my family and to be able to look back and say wow you know there were a lot of businesses that went out of business this year mm -hmm. you know so again double shout out to the customers and supporters um to my teammates who kept going with their businesses but we're entrepreneurs we're business owners we're small business owners there were a lot of businesses that had to close during this season. So if you're still around, if you're still kicking, even if you're struggling, kicking and fighting for every inch, you still owe yourself a pat on the back because you made it. There are a lot of people who didn't, you know? So mm -hmm. be thankful for that and celebrate that and, you know, be grateful, but um, celebrate that and move forward. This is not the time to quit. <laughs> you come this far. <laughs> And if you stuck to your guns, then congratulations. I know that when I said I have to go online, I have to be virtual, I was like, how am I going to do that? But you know what? I figured it out. I found a way. I'm getting great online sales. I love it. And online appointments. But you know what? All that has to be developed. Yeah. You have to figure out how you can develop your online presence, how you can... Uh, take advantage of, um, you know, transitioning all your face-to-face -face customers into online customers. Just look at the possibilities and make sure that next year you work harder and harder and harder so that every year you go up and up and up and up. <laughs> higher and higher, yeah. Just staying or going down. We just want to flatline. It's, it's a struggle to, to be honest, I would say it's even a struggle to stay at the same level. You, you can't even stay at the same level and not work. So, you know, try as best as you can to move forward. And then at the very least, you'll stay in the same place, but you won't go down. You know, down is not the direction that you want to go in. So make that plan. Like we've been talking about, put the steps that you've been that we've been talking about in our live streams into action. I know, especially, you know, switching to virtual and incorporating virtual, I, I'm not 100% virtual. I'm still, you know, I would say 10% face to face <laughs> or, you know, in person, it's more like car trunk to face, but <laughs> that delivering. But um, I, I know like in the beginning, a lot of people were really resistant and really hesitant. And um, even in my day job, like the resistance to transitioning online, we've been trying to make the transition for years and now it became a necessity. And, you know, they were able to do it in the day job, but I was like, if you guys had done it when I told you to do it, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. But try not to resist change. It's a part of life. It's a, a, a something that's needed for growth. So if you resist, you'll stagnate. So try to find ways, creative ways, ideas, you guys, for, if you're in this business, you're already thinking outside of the box because you've already gone an alternate route than many people have. A lot of people don't have a plan B. A mm -hmm. lot of people don't plan to be entrepreneurs. So you're already, you already have that creativity. So take that and come up with ideas and ways to make the tools that you have available to you work for your business. If you don't have inventory, then great. You know, think of ways that you can leverage your website to get your customers ordering online. If you do have inventory, think of ways that you can get that moving and encourage your customers to shop online so that if God forbid anything does happen to you, whether you're traveling or you're you're taking some time off to spend with family, new babies, whatever, your business keeps moving. So the key here is to constantly just keep your business going. To con you want to make sure that you're getting orders every single campaign because that is growth, that's success. You don't want your, your business to be sleeping because then you're not making any money. So all the tips we share with you are just to help you keep your business alive. Yes, and what a better feeling than to work for yourself. Yeah. I know you travel a lot. I love like that is such an inspiration to see me to see like for me to see you traveling and looking at myself and saying that's what I want to do. I want to travel and go places and not be tethered and chained to a desk. 
Mm -hmm. Well, now that my husband retired, I have no other choice but to be his little tail. <laughs> yeah, travel, live it up. <laughs> I'm not going to make him stay home, retire. So, <laughs> and you know what? It took years to get here. And, and you know, we, we can all do that. We can all just take it one step at a time. Um, you know, I was sharing with uh, one of my representatives that my business has totally transitioned uh, from face a lot of the face to face, and um, you know it has um, it, it has taken a different turn. You know, my husband now retires, so I'm virtual now. Um, I don't do what I used to do in the field time. So thank you, Leola. What a nice comment. Thank you so much. That makes us feel good. It lets us know that what we're doing is making a difference. We definitely want to help everyone uh, find their way. And, um, you know, I, I'm thankful for social media. I'm thankful for uh, being able to share, um, having these uh, Thursdays with Georgiana. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know about you, Georgiana, but, I, you know, every time that I have these Thursdays with you, it it motivates me and oh, yeah. me you know generate ideas you know what you shared and what i share and we put together we put it together and i get so much more creator creative so i am thankful also i agree 100 <laughs> i our conversations always help me to see things from a different perspective and um I, again growth you know if you if you're if you have tunnel vision then that's not helpful. But being able to put your your mind so that it's open to other ideas, and you know, even sometimes in our conversations, we're like, I don't, oh, I, I never thought of that. I don't, I don't do that. I should try that. Or no, I don't do it that way. I do it this way. <laughs> it's like you know, like, I used to do that, and I don't do that anymore. Maybe we should yes. start over again. <laughs> yes. yes, and you know, especially when we're talking to, me, that's what one of the reasons I love new rep training because it constantly reminds me of the stuff that I used to do when I first got started. As your business grows, you're gonna, you know, you go through growth phases. So there's stuff that a new rep is doing that you're not necessarily doing. Maybe you're doing it at a, you know, at a different level. So I love doing the new rep training because it reminds me of when I used to take those initial mm -hmm. baby steps. Um, to go out and still continue to do those things. So, I mean, I'm 100% like into automation now, but with, when I work with new reps, it reminds me to keep that one-on-one -on -one touch that we used to have when we first started. And I want to mention, uh, did you look at the Avon U uh, training, how much it has changed? You have to look at it. It's like... Let me see if I can bring it up. I yeah. always laugh about Don't the Avon your training. Don't show your account now. <laughs> right, I know. I'm typing in my account number first, so we don't have any <laughs> like we did before. But I, I mean, I remember when it was only like we talk about, you know, change and change being this big scary monster. But we, I remember when I needed to take a two-hour train ride to get to our um, our face-to-face -face meetings, and they were held once a month. And now being able to um, do my training on Avon U. Yeah. It's so, it's I, oh, it's so easy to find everything now. That in focus, they um, have the replay for November, which is fantastic. Make sure you um, watch October as well. Yeah. And the, <laughs> October, was, October is there, was there. Um, I'm not sure they removed it. But I, October, well, most of the things you could search. I'm going to mm -hmm. search. In focus. Because yeah. I do this all the time um, to just find stuff that I maybe, look, they're both there. October, November. See, look, October and November in focus. But look how simple all this is. Navigate. It didn't used to be like that. I have to be honest. I know. Yeah. I mean, you could search for anything. Um, skincare. Let me see if I can find. I'm just gonna put in a whole bunch of random phrases and see what classes come up. There are so many classes. Look, parties. If you don't know how to do virtual parties, um, in in person, face to face parties. How do you, 
you know, what you can and cannot do. Everything, every single mm -hmm. thing is here. And even Canva, training on Canva, if you put Canva, you'll see all the trainings that they have done on how to use Canva. Yeah. Um, creating with Canva. And then, um, you know, they also have the campaign um, meetings and, and um, all of that is going to help you uh, on your own time to be able to move forward to different um you know strategies that you can implement for your business yep. which one did you search which one did you search um, that was for meeting i just searched for meeting and a whole bunch of classes came in very good so yeah i was i was surprised when i saw it i saw it a few weeks ago and i was like oh wow look how much it has changed and they keep improving it that's you know, every time I go in there, it's, it's a new change. So thank you, thank you, Avon. Yes. You, I am grateful. <laughs> and it's good to have everything in one place because there are a lot of classes. Some of it is on Facebook. Some of it is in GoToMeeting. But for the most part, they, they're pretty good about archiving it here so you can catch up because the In Focus meeting was like a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I know that that a lot of the other classes are in GoToMeeting. So it's nice to have everything in one place. Yes. So thank you for, for sharing that and for uh, visualizing that for everyone here in the call. Anytime, but <laughs> yeah. So great call. I hope you guys are inspired by what we share, that you um, start to connect with your customers and help them find the products that they're already shopping for, guys. Like for the mm -hmm. holidays, people are already buying things, but you got to make that connection between what they need and mm -hmm. what you have. And it's up to us. You know, that's what we're just trying to emphasize. You have the product, your customer has a need. Just, you know, marry those two. <laughs> and get motivated, get creative, get excited. You work for Yes. I don't know about you, but I love shopping for customers. I mean, I like to shop, right? So, I mean, I don't like to shop when I have to. Shopping for household stuff has been a nightmare this year, but <laughs> shopping for fun for me, I love to do. So, you know, think of your the types of customers you have. Pick a customer, think of either call them or think of about their life. What do they need? Who's in their family? Go online and shop for them. Put together a little customer list for them and then reach out to them. Say, hey, I was thinking about you. Did you get a gift for your husband and your kids? I thought these products might be good. Like, could you imagine if you had a personal shopper call you up and say, hey, you know, I know you and your family. I think that these are some gift ideas that might help you to be able to just go through that list and say, yes, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that and be done. I love that. We can all be personal shoppers for our customers. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. You know, it's um, a service that we're providing. It's not just selling a product. It's about that connection and providing a service so that this shopping experience for them can be easier. So mm -hmm. how do you do that? How many customers are you going to become? I love that idea, Georgiana. Look, I never thought about that. I just thought about it right now. <laughs> I love that yeah, I'm brainstorming pew 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 <laughs> oh my gosh because you know sometimes people say okay um you know create a customer um a, a shopping list for your customer but actually attaching and and if you know your customer's family you know they have a daughter a son or and then you attach those gift ideas maybe you can set up a budget for them too how much look here's a 200 dollar shopping list for everybody in your family and they get it they look at it what one thing that i would love that i would love to see avon do i should probably send an email i would love to be able to create that shopping list like a cart for my customer and send it to them and then let them select from there and just put it in their cart right now i would just put the links if you guys are wondering like, okay, Georgie, how do you do that? Right now, I would just put it into an email or even a messenger, the links to all the different products, but I would, and then send it to my customer so they could click each link and then add to the cart. But I would love, like if there was something built into Avon where a customer can get like, this is what you're representing. In the same way that we send the digital brochures. If they can get a little shopping list from their rep, like, hey, I thought you would like these things. And then they could just add to their cart. But for now, just send an email. 
I love that. Make sure you send that suggestion to Avon. They do listen, by the way. Avon. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. And thank That's you good. all thank for, you for the ideas. For being here with us. Um, we wish you the best holiday, Christmas, shopping, and money making. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Time of year. Yes, let's get serious. Let's do, and let's do this. Yes. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> and we will see you next Thursday, as usual, with another great, great topic. And yeah. um, we appreciate you being here and for um, supporting our series, uh, Thursdays with Georgiana. And, Milagro. <laughs> <laughs> and share, you know, share. Um, sometimes I get a question. Is it okay if I share 100%? And if you want to share with people who aren't on Facebook, we will be posting this to our YouTube channel after. So um, people who are on Facebook can watch as well. You know, if you want to share with your teammates to help them find ideas too. Yes. But that's it for us today, guys. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. Bye, Georgie. Bye, Millie.